Well, a hot rivalry won't be enough to keep Gopher football fans warm this weekend. The team could play its coldest game yet against the Hawkeyes at Huntington Bank Stadium tomorrow afternoon. WCCO's Caroline Cummings explains how you can make sure you're prepared for the bitter blast. Afton Alps opened for the season on Friday and skiers and snowboarders quickly took to the slopes. I don't know how to describe how excited I am. First day, uh, opening season. Couple runs, should be a good time. From dusk to dark at the resort in Hastings, they embraced the cold, a polar plunge that we'll all feel this weekend. I uh, try to get to the parks and play pond hockey, and that's that's what I like to do. Friends Owen and Charlie are also trying to see the Gophers' big rivalry game as much as they can bear it. It was pretty cold last year for Wisconsin, but yeah, I try to think. Probably not more than that. Nothing for... like this, no. Gopher fans are used to those wintry temperatures. It's Minnesota after all. And down in Iowa City where the Iowa fans play, it can get pretty cold there too. But the university wants you to be safe, so bring those layers. Make sure you keep warm. And if you do have blankets, including ones with batteries to keep you warm, you're allowed to bring those inside the stadium. But I think probably the most common reason that people get frostbite or have hypothermia or something is they are unprepared. Dr. Jamie Hammerbeck with CentraCare says the sudden cold can come as a surprise and as a result cause frostbite. Tips, don't wash your freezing cold hands immediately with hot water. That can do more harm than good. Keep a safety kit in your car with extra things to keep warm. Wear layers, at least three, including one that's waterproof. If you're also dealing with wet and cold, then that frostbite is going to happen a lot faster. Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News. And we aren't the only ones dealing with an early start to winter.